Hello, Albert. Hello, George. You know, I've been meaning to ask you about DOE. Design of experiments. Oh, well you should have asked soon. I know everything about DOE. Well, can you tell me the basics? Sure. DOE is a scientific method of planning and conducting an experiment that will yield the cause and effect relationship between variables. It is a very powerful tool. With DOE, you can study the effects of many X or input variables simultaneously, as well as possible interaction effects. Does it involve math? Do engineers wear pocket protectors? Of course, it involves math. Specifically, statistics. But there is software out there that can make it quite easy. Well, that is a relief. Can you give me an example of how we might use DOE? Sure. Let's imagine you and I were trying to find out the best method for baking chocolate chip cookies. You like chocolate chip cookies, don't you? Well, I prefer oatmeal raisin. Fine, let's find the best method for baking oatmeal raisin cookies. The output or Y variable might be called taste, on a scale of 1 to 5, with 5 being the best. The X variables might be things like oven temperature, time, and perhaps type of sugar, brown versus granulated. You can't have variables like type of sugar, even though they cannot be measured on a continuous scale? Absolutely. You can use continuous or discrete or attribute variables. That's great news. Well, let's get back to our scenario. We can run a DOE and create an equation that tells us the best combination of temperature, time, and sugar to get us the perfect cookie. Where did you learn all of this? From my friends at EMS Consulting Group. www.emsstrategies.com They offer Lean Six Sigma training and resources. EMS Consulting Group. www.emsstrategies.com I should check them out. I must go home now. Why? I need to experiment with some cookie recipes. You know. DOE can be used on machine parameters as well. I know, but making the perfect oatmeal raisin cookie has just become a priority.